OK. Um, so let's go over this proof here real quick. Uh, what, this have, what we have here is angle D is congruent to angle F. Uh, GE bisects angle DEF. Now, what's really important, before we even get to our proof, let's just write down the stuff that we know, right? Let's, before we even start thinking, let's write the stuff we know. Statement, reason. Angle D is congruent to angle F. That, the reason why we know that's true, because it's given to us. Then we have GE bisects angle D, E, F, given. The line. That is the line. So if that line bisects it, what does that tell us? Ooh. Yes, Colin? What does that tell us about that angle? If it bisects the angle, what does that tell us? It tells us that it's split in two. Yeah, it splits it into two halves. equal angles. So now I can say that angle DEG is congruent to angle FEG. Why do I know they're equal? Because that's the definition of bisect. If I say something bisects, then yeah, you say it cuts in half or splits it into two congruent angles. Right? That's because you have your hood on, which you're not supposed to. All right, ooh, gotcha. <laughs> All right, so there we're at that point. Um, angle DEF is congruent to angle FEG because the definition of bisection, or definition of bisecting. When you have a line that bisects an angle, it cuts it into two equal parts. Um, but now, what we need to do is we need to prove that DG is congruent to FG. The only way that we can prove that DE is congruent to FG is by proving that our triangles are congruent. Because corresponding parts have congruent parts. Right? If you have corresponding parts of congruent triangles, they're equal to each other. Yes? Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are equal or are congruent. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, we need to prove these are congruent. Right now, I have angle, angle. I can't figure out the third angle, because angle, angle, angle does not prove congruency. We need to figure out a side. Elena, do you know the easiest side to pick out what would be equal for both those triangles? Colin is like ready to answer, so you got to come up with something quick. No, 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 you can do it. Come on. Do you, know, is it, do you know these two sides are equal to each other? These two sides are equal to each other? These two sides are equal to each other? What do you think? Give it a shot. What? These? Why? You don't know? I'm trying to say we need to determine which side is equal for both of the triangles. And why would you say GE is equal for both the triangles? It's on both the triangles. It's the same side for both triangles, right? So yeah, you can say that GE is congruent to GE. Why? Because it's the same side. In mathematics, we call it the reflexive property. But I'll let you get away with the same side. Just be aware of a lot of it. Often it's called the reflexive property. OK? Why couldn't FE and DE if, if they have the same angles? But because Just because it has the same angles doesn't mean the sides are the same. It doesn't? We'll talk about that in a second. Yes. Not at this moment in time. So could you just let them in? Um, so now. Now we're able to determine that those two sides are equal. Now what we need to look at is saying, all right, well, now we have angle, angle, side, right? Because there's only so many ways we can prove congruency. Side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle, and uh, angle, angle, side. Well, we don't have any included angles or sides, so those two don't work. We don't have all three sides, so they don't work. But here we have angle, angle, side. So now I can prove that triangle. D, E, G is congruent to triangle F, E, G. And why? Because that's angle, angle, side. But we're not trying to prove that the triangles are congruent. We're trying to prove that these two sides are congruent. So you have to go to the extra step. 
Now we can say that line DG is congruent to line FG because corresponding parts of corresponding triangles are congruent. All right? But I'm just going to leave this as congruent triangles. Question? Yes. Why can't it be angle side angle? Um, because if you go to angle side angle, is this side between these two angles? Yeah. No. There's a side right here. Uh, angle side angle looks like this. Angle side angle. That side has to be exactly between the two angles. That is like, um, that's like that. That's like saying angle side angle. That's not included. You're missing a side, right? So it has to be exactly between the two angles for it to be angle side angle. And that means that they're congruent triangles. Right. And since you have congruent triangles, you know all the sides are equal, all corresponding sides are equal, and all corresponding angles are equal. So therefore, you can say these sides now are now equal to each other because corresponding parts of corresponding triangles are congruent. Love proofs. Keith, you write that stuff down yet? You know, it was your